You are Trump employee number five. You're a central witness in the classified documents investigation. Why are you speaking out publicly with your story now? Well, I mean, it's, it's been almost a year since FBI agents showed up at, the, at my house when my wife was at home. And, you know, over the course of the last year, emotionally, it's been a roller coaster. You know, a couple weeks ago, you know, Judge Cannon says she's going to release the names of the witnesses. You know, you go from highs and lows in this. And instead of just waiting for it to just come out, I think it's better that I get to at least say what happened than it coming out in the news, people calling me like crazy. I'd rather just get it out there. And, you know, the hope is at least I can move on with my life. That's Brian Butler, a former Trump employee who's testifying as to what he saw at Mar-a-Lago in regard to the thousands of stolen top secret documents. It's alarming, but that's just the beginning. You notice he also said this. You know, a couple weeks ago, it, you know, Judge Cannon says she's going to release the names of the witnesses. That is significant because when you testify against Donald Trump, two things happen. The first is he publicly calls you out. A New York state judge just ruled and he's crooked as you can get. And a lot of people expected something like this, but not for the amount. Uh, but this is a very dishonest man. And the second is, well, it's not good. I was in a parking lot going to a fitness class with my infant daughter. I was taking, you know, the seats facing backwards in the back seat, diaper bag, you know, getting all the stuff out. And a guy walked up on me and said to me, leave Trump alone, forget the story. And then he leaned around and looked at my daughter and said, a, a beautiful little girl, it'd be a shame if something happened to her mom. And then he was gone. The reason people are coming forward isn't this. The entire thing has been a witch hunt. People who were close to Trump saw what he was doing, giving people without classified security clearances access to very sensitive documents. And they felt the need to speak out. Were there ever any instances when you were still working there that you witnessed where Trump was, in your view, carelessly throwing around national security information? You know, this really, you know, stood out to me, but in, uh, I believe it was April of 2021, um, there was a member, Anthony Pratt, who he was coming, he, he flew in the night before. He's an Australian billionaire. He finishes his meeting with the former president, gets in the car, and his chief of staff says, how did the meeting go? Pratt, without saying, just says, he told me, and it would be, you know, U.S. military, you know, classified information of what he told them about Russian submarines and U.S. submarines. And that's really all I remember hearing. And I went, what? You know, I'm thinking this. I'm in the car. I'm like, did I just hear that? So it, it wasn't like, oh, the meeting went well. We talked about it. it was he went straight to the point. He told me that the U.S. subs and with the Russian subs and, you know, something that would pro more than likely, in my mind, be classified. So it was clear to you that he was basically seeking access to China. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, red flags went up in my mind years before that. So Anthony Pratt, this Australian billionaire that you're talking about, he would pay a lot of money to, to come and have these New Year's Eve parties. So, so it might cost $1,000, $1,500 per person. He was giving a million dollars. And I think at the height, he had 30 or 40 people there. So something that would be 50,000, let's just say max 50. Here's a guy that's just buying access. It's, it's very easy to see. Hey, look, if somebody wants to buy access, this is your guy. And it's still happening. Bud Light, over the course of this past year, became a conservative target, became a Trump world boogeyman. Until Donald Trump did a total 180. Out of the blue, he decided unilaterally to call off the right-wing Jeremiah against Bud Light. He told all his followers to start drinking Bud Light again. Quote, Anheuser-Busch is a great American brand that deserves a second chance. Now, what caused this radical U-turn? What caused the former president to turn on a dime like this? Look at the, the time and date stamp. Keep that in mind, 3.30 p.m. on February 6th. Why is that when Trump did his 180-degree U-turn on Bud Light? Well, hmm, look what happened that same day. Lobbyist for Anheuser-Busch announces $10,000 a plate fundraiser for Donald Trump. Just last month, Trump was saying that TikTok was dangerous for children. Now he opposes the bipartisan push to ban TikTok. But it's no mystery why Trump might have flipped. He recently spoke at a conference of the conservative organization called Club for Growth, who's planning to give millions to Trump's campaign. 
Its main benefactor is a Republican mega donor named Jeff Yoss. Who is Yoss? Yoss's firm has a $20 billion stake in a company called ByteDance, the parent company of, you guessed it, TikTok. Add that to Trump's upcoming bond forfeiture on a half a billion dollar fine, which he apparently doesn't have, and you wonder, could those two things go together? No. You view Trump as a national security risk? Um, I, I personally would just say I just don't believe that he should be a presidential candidate at this time. I think it's time to move on. Does it concern you that, I mean, he very I think well it should be. concern, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think we can do better. You're obviously a central witness in this case. If it goes to trial, are you prepared to testify? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. His attorneys are trying to get it pushed, though, past the election. Do you believe that this trial should happen before the election? I mean, I think the American people have the right to know the facts that this is not a witch hunt. I mean, he can go out on TV and say this. That's one of the reasons for doing this. Um, and quote, you know, the PRA says this and that. I, it's all bogus. But people believe him. Um, you think it's a fair investigation? Absolutely. I mean, to me, you have the law and order president attacking agents, the special counsel, on an almost a daily basis. When these people are just taking their sworn, sworn oath, they, they took a sworn oath to um, basically follow the laws of this country and now you have somebody attacking them, I, I don't think that's right. The documents at Mar-a-Lago have significant interest to investigators, not only as to how they were handled, but why were they there and for what reason? So at the end of the day, you might ask yourself, what are classified documents and how much information is in there? Well, according to intelligence experts, oftentimes these papers held secrets in what they didn't say. For example, if one document referred to something that Putin had said, you could easily reverse engineer what was said and determine who was around when it was mentioned. That's how intelligence works. For example, the John Walker espionage case in the 80s caused the deaths of many Russians who were passing information to us. Their deaths, of course, were a tragedy, but it also made it harder for us to recruit new agents. And pretty soon, right after the Republican convention, Joe Biden will be forced to share his intelligent briefings with this man, under indictment for trying to overthrow our government, who has benefited from Soviet intelligence back in 2016, and most recently in the Hunter Biden case, where Alexander Smirnov passed false information about Hunter Biden designed to hurt Joe Biden. He received that information from Russian intelligence. Donnie Sniffles is a guy who cuts in line and dares you to say something. He's proven that he will betray anyone and anything. Trump is teetering on bankruptcy, which makes him even more dangerous. He owes half a billion dollars, and he's pleading for anyone to help. He recently asked Musk to buy Truth Social. That's just the one we know about. He will get the money he needs to pay these fines and save his companies from China, Saudis, Russia. You know he will. So welcome to Trump's America. God bless the Where freedom reigns, if you can afford it. Am I wrong? Damn right. Yes. Tick tock. You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> Follow, like, and hit notifications as Really American keeps you up to date on the latest Republican cult lie in this very important year. For Really American, I'm Chip Franklin.